Hi, Nifty Thrifty Girl. Um, today I am featuring a Kenmore Model 1703. This is an all metal 1.2 amp machine that has built in stitches and uses cams. Um, it is in mint, mint condition, and I'm not even kidding when I say that you would be really, really hard pressed. To find a machine in this good, in this mm -hmm. good of condition, it it is literally like it just came off the sales floor at Sears. Um, it does have one little tiny ding right here in the center of the deck, and it's very very small. Other than that, there's not a scratch or a mark on the whole machine. Um, very very nice, easy to use. It is a super high shank machine which is proprietary to the Kenmores um, and it does have regular and stretch built in stitches. It has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 built in stitches as well as it uses the cams and this box of cams come with it and they are in mint condition as well. It's very clean so you have a, 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 a line of regular cams and a line of stretch cams that comes with it. This one's missing because it's in the machine. Now while I'm on that subject, it also comes with another box that includes a button holder, button holder with um, the templates, a brand new pack of needles which includes a double, the chain stitch set, the Q foot with the stretch needles still in the package and underneath the buttonhole here it has screwdrivers brand new in the package um, so this machine was hardly ever used if at all no no kidding screwdrivers new in the package the seam ripper new in the package or buttonhole cutter whatever you want to call it um, We'll put, and these are some feet that come in here. I can't remember the name of all of them exactly, but there's a straight stitch foot, satin stitch foot. That's some kind of embroidery foot, probably. And that's the plastic uh, satin stitch foot. Brand new needle threader in the box. So this machine is pretty much brand new as you would have got it from Sears. 30, 40 years ago. Okay? So, it is all oiled and ready to go. Um, it does not have the manual with it, but I will send a PDF copy of the manual. That was not with it, unfortunately, when we found it. But I do have it on PDF, so I will email it to you. It does use standard 15 by 1 needles. And like I said, the super high shank Kenmore attachments. And here we go. Now, I will tell you that when you're straight stitching, it does not sew in the center. It sews slightly to the left, and it's supposed to do that. Um, and if I remember correctly, the reasoning for that is so you can make a quarter inch seam. So it sews, the needle will hit just slightly to the left of the center of the um, press your foot. And zigzag. Has a very wide stitch. Very wide zigzag. Looks like I might need to adjust the tension a hair. Yep. I'm going to do that real quick. Bottom tension needs adjusted just a hair because it's pulling up through the bottom. Yeah, that was a little too loose, and that was my fault. That's better. And I can just do that by feel and after you sew for a while. It's pretty easy to do. This is kind
kind of a lightweight machine. It's not super heavy, even though it is all metal. And as you can see, it does work on the tabletop, or you need to put it in the Kenmore cabinet or carrying case because it does have the 17-inch square deck. It will not fit in the Singer cases or cabinets because this is square and it's bigger. So now I'm going to flip this little center dial right here where it says SML. That's short, medium, long. That's your stretch stitch. So I'm going to flip that around and we're going to do a stretch stitch built in. You see the fabric working up and back. Now we're going to flip it around. We're going to put it back on the red dot, which is normal, and I'm going to flip it around to the cam. And it does already have a cam built in, so we're going to pull it down a little bit, and it's an arrowhead. Threaded. That's why I can't see the design. Uh, what is going on? Oh, well, my bobbin ran out of thread. How funny is that? That was kind of a dull on my part. Quickly re thread it. look at the bobbin almost when I adjusted it. Guess I should have. Now, we're doing the cam, which is an arrowhead, is, where, is what that design is. There we go. Arrowhead. Here's your stretch stitch. It was on long here, and I pulled it into short. There's another stretch. Here's your arrowhead made with a cam. Nice stitches. All right, so I'm going to put it back on a regular stitch, and we're going to do a piece of denim. Size 16 needle. Cuts through it like butter. And that is the 1703 Kenmore with attachments and accessories and cams. If you have any questions, my email is down below, niftythriftysewing at gmail.com. Um, this will be on eBay by the end of the day today, uh, ready to go. So if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.